Ballborbs, Dweevil, Snagris, Chappies, and Blowhogs are some of Pikmin's most notable enemies. Wait, what? This is Chappie. He was supposed to appear in the Pikmin series, but Nintendo had other plans for him. And like Chappie, there are many other Pikmin creatures that never got to see the light of day. So I brought together the experts of unused Pikmin content. I'm only here for Pikmin and Gunner to Hunt, so they can help me rank every single forgotten enemy. Let's get onto the list. So basically, we're ranking these cut creatures based on if they should have made it into the game or not. As you guys know, some creatures are very cool and have some pretty interesting mechanics, and others are virtually useless. And the reason I specifically invited you two is because you guys are the masters of unused Pikmin content. So please, Go check out these two videos if you haven't already over on I'm Only Here for Pikmin and Gunner Dahan's channel. They'll help you get a much better understanding of every single creature and character on this list. But with all that being said, let's get onto the list. Starting off with our first cut enemy. His name is the Iwa Gen. You guys know what the Iwa Gen does, right? Yeah, so, it's like a little dude who just spits out rocks, right? Yeah, it's a small little like, rock thing. It looks like a beta version of the Puffy Bullhog, but like on the ground and it shoots rocks. Yeah, I so think he deserves to be pretty high on the list. Pikmin 1 is already like crazy with like all the stuff it throws at you. Imagine an unkillable dude who's like throwing rocks that can immediately kill you. I think this guy deserves to be in. It's pretty cool. He, he's unkillable? I think so, right? Isn't it something like that? Yeah. As well, he looks like a ancient statue from like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but he, he, he has cool design. If it had more personality, I'd say bring it back now, but I think it's pretty cool as a good place to start off. Yeah. I'm surprised that the Pikmin 1 developers actually had restraint and not adding this thing to, to the game. I think they were scared that they'd deter people away considering how difficult it is, but no, oh, we got mods for this now. Moving on, we got the Burrowing Snarrow, and he's not really a cut enemy. He was mentioned here and there, and this is a picture from, I think, Pikmin 251, if I'm not mistaken. Do you guys know exactly what the what makes the Burrowing Snarrow different from the Burrowing Snagret? I have no clue about the Burrowing Snarrow. I've, like, heard of it, but I don't know any, like, lore behind it. Hmm. I think it's just, it's a subspecies of the Snagret. I think the color is the only difference. Okay, yeah. so burn it. We're pissing people off right after that. Yeah, sorry, guys, we're burning it. Next up. Uh, I forget his name. The Usaba. The Usaba is one of the most notorious cut enemies from Pikmin 1, and I'm pretty sure Rakuten is making, uh, kind of like remastering Usaba in his own Pikmin 2 mod, which would be really cool. Um, what exactly does this guy do? So, uh, so what he actually does is just, like, fly, and that's it, I'm pretty sure. But, like, people think that, like, he was a boss because he had, like, 5,000 health or something like that. Uh, he was left pretty unfinished, so we weren't sure exactly what he does for sure. I do like the way it looks, though, like, you see the way like, he's flying around and stuff? So it's one of the coolest designs in the series, to be it, it looks really cool. It looks like a sperm cell with wings. We don't really know its function, but just based off its design, I think it's pretty cool. I think putting it below um, the Iwajin, just because it doesn't really have a use yet, but it's still a cool design and it has potential to be brought up here. Next, we have the most intricate enemy in Pikmin 1, the Kingback. It is literally just the Empress Ball of Wax's back. Yeah. Oh, I'd say bring it back now. <laughs> like, honestly, Nintendo, Nintendo, what are you doing, man? Wait, this thing back? what just happened here? Why did it just, like, disappear? It's because, like, I think that video was, like, showing off that it does have a death state, and it just kind of disappears when it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this needs to be in the game. Um, moving on to Pikmin 2, because we don't have many cut enemies in Pikmin 1. In Pikmin 2, we have even less. Obviously, starting off with the yellow bulbworb and the blue bulbworb as we all know these bulbworbs got turned into the hairy and orange bulbworb which i don't like the designs of either of them i think they're, they're lazy and boring i have like the i have the opposite opinion of you i i don't like the yellow and blue ones but i like the hairy and orange ones really yeah i gotta i gotta agree with only here for pikmin i think this is like textbook meh in my opinion all right, I'm gonna let I'm only here for Pikmin talk about this one first. The volatile list, Dweevil, basically the suicide spider without the suicide. Uh, bring it back now, cause I mean it has its own niche kind of. I mean it looks really cool and it will, and players will be impressed when they see it in game. You have it here. Not above the king back though. The king back is that's it. King back gets his own tier. So. I'm only for Pikmin. In your video, you said that Fiery Ball Blast was supposed to be a boss because there was an actual boss model for the Picklepedia left in the game. So, how do you think this would have turned out? Oh, I'd say it'd basically just be the Fiery Ball Blast, but like bigger. It's weird because um, it is really cool, but he's technically already in the game. Yeah, so it's kind of weird. I feel like he works better as an enemy because you can give Reds more uses by just like putting them in more caves. Moving on to Pikmin Three. Um, I'm gonna skip Hey Pikmin. We're gonna do that at the end. Hey, Pikmin has some really interesting enemies. We'll get to that later. The Crystal Morrow Frog. It's, I'm pretty sure this is just supposed to be um, Wally Wog, whatever it's called. But it's made of crystal, so I'm guessing 
like Rock Pikmin will either get destroyed by it or destroy this thing. Personally, I love this guy. I don't know. I love Wallywogs, Wallycaps, whatever you want to call them. And having a crystal one, I think would be pretty cool. I think that he he was reworked into the calcified clutch blat. The design alone, I think, elevates it. But like, yeah, functionally, the crush blat is just kind of better. Also, these tiers are ordered. So if you guys want me to move them up one or down one, just let me know. Next up, we have the Bubbly Blowhog. He had two different renditions. One was like this and one was blue. And he was supposed to spit out bubbles. Very similar to how I think the Waddle Puss does it. There's probably another uh, rework as well. Yeah. Yeah, probably. It, it is pretty cool. I like how he crashes the game if he's like put there without his blue brother. But <laughs> other than that, like he's just kind of like a normal version of the Waddle Puss. I'd say high meh tier. You should put him in between yellow and blue, just because I think that's kind of funny. <laughs> Ooh, next one. The Emperor Ball Blax was supposed to be in Pikmin 3, or the model was at least found in Pikmin 3. It may have just been a reused asset from Pikmin 2, but regardless, he could have been in Pikmin 3. Uh, he definitely should be brought back. There's like, in the Garden of Hope, they used the Crab Boss twice. And it, it felt like such a missed opportunity, they should just use the Ball Blax instead. Yeah. He was planned at some point. I don't know why they got rid of him. It's one of the cooler enemies. Pikmin 3 is really lacking in like mid boss material enemies so i think he would have been really cool in there he's bringing back now yeah <laughs> i guess he could go he technically king back he tier. technically is king back tier you know what i think he belongs there in king back tier all right king back tier it is the burritos the burrito are basically armored shear grubs which is really cool apparently they can latch onto enemies and they can use um they can be used as protective armor for that enemy so they can grab onto the ball board and kind of just like protect them I think this is a clear top tier. Maybe yeah. not king back tier. Like this guy, he, he deserves to be back. I think there's been no enemy that fills this niche at all. Like just something that can like protect an enemy or something. I think that's really cool. Yeah, it works together yeah. with it'd other enemies. It'd be a good enemies. counter to um. It'd be a good counter to lock on as well because you try lock onto the bull board and it'd just be locking onto the bugs. Yeah, I do like this. I think it's a really cool idea. Next we got the what's this one called? <laughs> I still want to try and pronounce this. Wait, no, no, no. You give it a go. You can give it a go, Raggins. We have the. The the Nama Pongashi. The Nama Pongashi. It's a mimic candy pop button. I'm pretty sure it's pretty self explanatory. Uh, what do you guys thoughts on this? It's a cool concept, but like, if it was in the game, all it would do was just like fuck up new players' experiences and it'd just kind of be there. Yeah, like after you fall for it once, it's kind of just like, okay, I know not to throw my Pikmin into here again. I'm gonna. You didn't have to cut me off. Like, man. I'm gonna assume that like this design is like from Pikmin 3 when like, you know, the Wii version or something. That's why it looks like the old one. Yeah. So I'm gonna assume the real one would look a bit closer to a candy pot bud because there's no way in how anyone is falling for that. Like, I mean, look at that. Like, I think it's a cool concept, but poor execution. I think a cooler idea was um, Paracosm Party's Pellet Poser. So like after seeing yeah, right. that, it's like it gets knocked down a peg just because Paracosm Party designed one of the coolest enemies I've ever heard of. The Mogur... The mo fucking hell. The Mogaramio and the Kakuramio. They'd spawn into the map and you had to lure them out with bait and stuff. And then you could charge them, which would kill them. So you can like place the bait around the map. Do they hurt your Pikmin at all or? Uh, this version doesn't, but you know, it's not finished. So I guess we don't know for sure what would have happened. They have very sharp teeth, so I think it probably would have. In terms of its use, it's, it's interesting. I don't know how intricate it would be in game, but these guys should probably stay together on the list. I think they're really annoying to fight. Like, I don't know if you fought them in game before, but they're really annoying. So, like, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of them, honestly. Yeah, I've never fought them, but I've seen footage of them, and even in footage, they kind of look annoying to fight. That's like really fast. Like the moment like a Pikmin gets anywhere near them, they like go right back into their burrow. So, forgotten or burn it? Uh, they're a unique enemy, so I don't think they should be burned. But maybe they should stay forgotten. I don't know. Maybe meh. Put the slug one in meh because I like its design. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Honey Wisp. Honey Wisp was supposed to return in Pikmin 3, but we got the Nectarius Dandify instead. It's kind of like it's kind of like a traditional Pikmin enemy that should be in every game. I don't get why they called it. Noted, but the Burnet tier is looking awfully small right now. That's all I'm saying. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this next one. The BD with that thing on him. What are we gonna do about him? Bring him back. King back tier. King, like this King back tier. Back back back. Back. Okay, so for the viewers, this is basically just a BD long legs with a giant foot in the middle. You should you should show them the animation for the video yeah. because like it just kind of like squishes down with its foot head like that's awesome I love that its design looks like a shit post I wish this enemy was in in the game it's actually a really cool concept next up we have the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau 
<laughs> Where do we put him? <laughs> I'm Canadian. I'm allowed to say it. I don't know if you looked at the footage I sent you, but this guy, he blinks his eyes sideways like a snake, which I think at least gains him one tier from wherever we would have put him. Yeah, I kind of oh my you. god. He looks like Bill Cipher from Gravity Falls. He does. Oh my god. There's nothing crazy to it, so I can't really put it above anything in pretty cool. Bottom pretty cool tier. Next up, my least favorite overrated enemy, the bread bug. I think the bread bug in Pikmin 3 would have made it feel a lot more like an authentic Pikmin game. Because I don't know about you guys, Pikmin 3 feels a lot more out there in terms of like the enemies and the creatures compared to like the first two and even number four. I bet they took him out because of the loading zones, like him carrying stuff across loading zones or something. Oh, you're like, right. I don't even know where he would fit in Pikmin 3. I'm trying to think of like what map would benefit from like a bread bug on it. And it's just like, they're all so linear that like, I don't think it really works as well as it did in Pikmin 2 and 1. I feel like they took him out for a reason, just because he doesn't fit in with the levels, but it's the bread bug. So I feel like he deserves to be at least, he gets like a few tiers just because he's the bread bug. Okay, burn it. There we go, okay. Look what we got here. This, is, this isn't this is controversial. I think everyone will agree. Yeah, I don't think anyone will dislike the video because we put this here. By the way, guys, dislike the video if you don't- Moving on to our forgotten Pikmin types. So let's start off with the beta Pikmin. And now we're gonna have to keep in mind the butterfly effect for this. I think Pikmin 1 would have sold like maybe two copies if Pikmin looked like this. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't think like, <laughs> they're maybe, maybe electric chair, honestly, because I think Red Bug's a bit lonely there. Yeah. What about the Tim Burton Pikmin? I don't think I've ever I seen like this the one. Tim Burton Pikmin. So this is like the, the first idea for Pikmin. Yeah, I like them. I think they deserve to be above the uh what other the other whatever the other thing. Yeah, is. it's a step up. I don't know what's Maybe, you know, man, I don't think it should stay forgotten because I can see this guy coming back. Like if this guy showed up in Pikmin 5, I don't think anyone would bat an eye. Oh, I'd so. love it. Just with a super long um stem. And see, so we all have a pitch black Pikmin 2, so it'd be pretty pretty cool. I feel like his design alone warrants it's a it's pretty cool, but I don't know, he should stay in meh because there's a much concepts for him. So, there's an unused model in Pikmin 1 of what he just cug. So I, I felt the need to put him on the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, you're right. You're just right. Put, him in, put him in once as just a normal Goomba in Pikmin 1 and just put him in the most random area. Just have a, just have a random fucking Goomba in Pikmin 1. Honestly, Goomba for Pikmin 1. It's, it's a king, king back tier, easily. Uh, next up, another unused model in Pikmin 1, Mario. And people say that this is probably from Mario 128. Yeah. Uh, burn it or electric chair treatment? What should we, what should we do to him? It just depends, like, do we want it to be painless or painful? I have a better idea. Let's add another one. Let's drown him. What's another form of torture? Waterboard. Ooh, yeah, waterboard. good one. Waterboard. All right, Mario getting waterboarded. Um. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> the purple Pikmin was actually supposed to be black, according to some source that I don't know. It says it in the file. Okay, so you're right. That, that's you're what it's in the files. So I think it would have been cool to have a white Pikmin and a black Pikmin doing like the, the monochrome kind of theme, but then rock Pikmin probably would have been a different color. I like I like the black Pikmin's design. I, I, yeah. I kind of fuck with the color black, not gonna lie. I think it makes yeah. sense because like red, blue, yellow, primary colors, then you go white, black. It just it just made sense. Like, I don't care about the rock Pikmin. They can like, I don't know, go jump off a cliff. I don't care. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if like the fact that there is a purple Pikmin is contributing to the fact that we haven't gotten Puffman back or something like that. So if we got black Pikmin, maybe Pikmin 4 would have had Puffman. That's all I'm saying. All the poison hazards in Pikmin 2 are red, except for this poison spider, which is purple. So maybe the purple Pikmin's color again changed, made them change the color of poison as well. That's smart. Oh my god, this dude, this dude had a crazy butterfly effect. Damn. Bring it back now. Yeah, I know. He needs to be back. Maybe we should move the Vault Hall Evil up to a uh, king back. Okay, but below Kug. He can't be buff Kug. All right. The bearded Pikmin looks like a variant of the purple Pikmin, just with a beard. I don't know what he would have done. Yeah, I think I think they were gonna be like the same as purple Pikmin, but with a few nerfs, like them being harder to make. Yeah, no, I'll burn it. Baldman in Pikmin three. Do you think we should have got Baldman in Pikmin three? Maybe in mission mode, but I'd it'd be hard to fit him into yeah. the story mode. Oh yeah, yeah I was about to say like you guys aren't ready for my hot take. I think Baldman don't. I think they should never come back. Like ever, ever. All right, guys, dislike are... the video. You heard what he said. <laughs> yeah, you, actually, no, don't 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 take it on the raggins. Go on my channel and dislike all my videos. But um. <laughs> If for Pikmin 2, it kind of works because that, that game is hard. But, like, imagine if Pikmin 4 had a type that was, like, immune to everything, you know, like Glow, glow, Pikmin. glow Pikmin. It would just completely ruin, like, everything if it was just, like, giving you Bulbman in the game. Yeah. They made Pikmin 5 more difficult. Bulbman can make a return. Here's the thing. You can't you can't burn them, electric chair them, or waterboard them because they're immune to all of them. So, yeah, they should probably just stay forgotten. The capped Pikmin. I think these were supposed to be kind of like a, a defensive Pikmin. Like, 
They use their heads as shields, maybe like umbrellas. It's a weird ass design. Yeah, I, I like how he looks, but like his design, like what he does sounds like something you'd see in like Pikmin 15 or something. With the old fashioned top hat, they should have given it a British voice. Oh my God, <laughs> the British Pikmin, he has a knife. Maybe this guy's chill. Yeah, I'll put him in meh. He's, he's starting to grow on me. Russian torture chamber. There we go. Now now we can all get tortured together. That's great. It's not normal torture. It's Russian torture. Yeah, and you don't want it. Yeah. There's a bear involved. Um, the slugman. The slime man. The, 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 the whatever the fuck this thing is. What are your thoughts on this? Bring it back. Why not? I like it. I think it's cool. The ghost Pikmin. It's literally just dead Pikmin. I don't know how this would work. It could be like a mechanic when you're haunted. Because, I don't know, you let too many Pikmin yeah. die and these guys follow you around. And like, damn. Actually, I kind of want to see that now. Like, the yeah. ghost of your Pikmin all come to haunt you. Okay, yeah. you convinced me. Maybe there's like a penalty for, for losing your Pikmin. Because there's really no consequences when your Pikmin die. You could just make more. It would never do it because they they don't want like little kids to cry when they lose Pikmin. But, you know <laughs> what? Him. I think little kids should cry. So, I think bring them back. Yeah. Um, Beta Ochi. I think it'd be way cooler if it was a Bulborb than Ochi, personally. Yeah. Yeah, it fits Pikmin better as well. Are we d assuming that there was some, like, parasite Gensei control going on, or are we just kind of assuming it's a Bulborg version of Ochi? No, that's, that th kind of this guy's um, parasite Gensei control. This one, let's just say Ochi or this guy. That's the decision. Ochi or a Bulborg Ochi. Definitely this guy, but not bring it back now. Maybe just pretty cool. Okay. The Burman. The Burr Pikmin. Bring it back now. Okay. No. I, I do like this guy, though. He's cool. I'd say, like, in the... Right here, I'd put him at the bottom. And actually, I do want the ghost Pikmin to go up here. These guys are going to end up in King back by the end of the video. <laughs> it's just, uh, now that I think about it, being haunted in Pikmin would be so cool. It's like Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, I remember back before Pikmin Tree was released, this guy, I think they showcased him at like a Nintendo Direct or something. Showed him like next to the main three, but he just never ended up in game. I think his name was a uh, character D. And then in the final game, character D ended up being assigned to Louis. So some people think that this was like Louis's alter ego or something, which is, you know, you know, anything's possible. But <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I believe that. But like I do, in just terms of gameplay, I do like having to manage three captains. I think four would be very overwhelming. It'd be funny to torture him just because, like, look at him. But <laughs> I don't know if he deserves it. Um, I'd say Math here. I think just leaving him here, I'm, I feel indifferent about him. Pikmin unearthed. We all know what this is. The viewers, if you don't know what this is, check out this video over here. It's long, but it's worth the watch. Avengers Emblem, Davogato, Gunner to Hunt, and a few other people literally resurrected an entire cut location in Pikmin 3. Not not an enemy, not a creature, not, not a, a character model, an entire fucking location. I, I think it's undisputed. This should deserve its own tier. I'm going to put it at the top of King back, though. Having this in-game would have changed Pikmin 3 for the better in every single way, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. definitely biased because I worked on this project, yeah. but Pikmin 3 is very lacking in like, it what? feels like it needs another area yeah. and it just didn't get it. So. Yeah, no, I think it's the top. As much as I love the, the, the legs with that thing on him, I got to put Pikmin on Earth a little higher. Moving on to the cut stuff from Pikmin 4. The Bean Pikmin, and yes, he was a concept in Pikmin 3, but Pellet Bean Pikmin, or whatever it's called, was left in Pikmin 4, meaning that there could have been a Pikmin with a gun. Oh yeah, Bean, bean Bullet, that's what you're saying. Bean Bullet, yeah. We don't really know if it's the same thing as the concept art, but it's just, we all we know is that he was green, he had an onion, and like Bean Bullet, and like, we don't know much else about him. <laughs> I like him. I think he's cool. He stands a little taller. Was probably able to like build bridges and use limbs for ropes and stuff. If he had a gun, like if it was like 100%, like this dude has a gun, I would say bring it back now, 100%. But I think I think that's a good spot for him. Pretty cool. I think I'll put him just above Blackface Ballboard. Next up, in Pikmin 4, we were supposed to get Puffman, but instead we got um, yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I'd say Puffman are better. Yeah, much better. Much much bring better. Him back. Yeah. I don't think the puff stool can even kill Pikmin, can it? Like, no, I don't think it can do anything. It's yeah, basically that, just there for decoration. I know. Like, he... getting rid of this guy, getting rid of this guy neutered one of the coolest enemies. So, like, I think he needs to be brought back. Um, next up, Gensei Control. Uh, Gunnar, do you want to explain to us what Gensei Control is? Uh, yeah. Based on, like, some concept art for Pikmin 3 and also some stuff left in the files of Pikmin 4, it is speculated that there was some sort of enemy control mechanic that was planned for Pikmin 4 at some point. It seemed like it might have been a precursor to Ochi, or, you know, some people think it could have been, like, a Mario Odyssey capture mechanic. We don't know a lot about it, but just based on the idea of controlling enemies, 
I think that's like King back tier, like at the very least. I think that's pretty cool. Last one for Pikmin 4. So, you know how we got um, York, Nelly, and Don Bergman? They were apparently supposed to be Alf, Brittany, and Charlie in Pikmin 4. Would we prefer to see our favorite Copiates or these three unnamed fuckers? Yeah, what the fuck was even going on in Pikmin 4? That you these these three random guys that look exactly like the Copi <laughs> Captain Shop go like, Hi guys, I'm Anthony Blitley and Sh Florida. <laughs> Have you seen our brothers out, Brittany and Joe? What the fuck is that shit in Pikmin 4, bro? It is insult to injury that those three whatever dudes are called Alf, Brittany, Charlie in the files. In the like, that's- it's like, they knew. So, like, what, what are they doing? Maybe they deleted this because of time constraints. Maybe they deleted this because it was goofy. There's no reason. They, they could have literally reused assets. They could have saved time. But they tried to make- I don't get it. So for all these Hey Pikmin guys, I noticed that there's like no good images or footage of them at all online because Nintendo took down the only footage that was there that I could find. So I did go into the files, into Hey Pikmin, and like get all of these animations. So I think it would help if like you showed like the animation like alongside dragons. Uh, click the animation for this guy, and I think oh, I think no. you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> see. I don't know how I feel about it in comparison to an actual ball board, but I think it's just, it's funny. Above blackface ball board, below bean pigment. I, I think I could put it here. Next up is the same thing, but without the legs. His name is Chappie. Chappie underscore proto. It's basically the same thing as enemy 01, but he has no legs and he has the ditto eyes. And I don't know what I was doing. I think I was just fucking around, <laughs> but he does. He just kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a hen puppet. <laughs> Who the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely fucking around here. Dude, I, I like this little like hand puppet Muppet looking dude. I think he deserves I, I his own he, tier. Hey, Pikmin would have got much more positive reviews if he was in there. If Chappie was in there, exactly. <laughs> but the Makiwi variants, I would like to see them. They have a whip tongue Makiwi and I think just a spiny Makiwi or a spiky. The Togemaki. The Togemaki. Spiky Makiwi. Yeah. The cool thing about this guy is that he had so many animations, like he looked pretty much done. I, I know no one really cares like how close enemy was to being done in Hey Pikmin, because like, it's Hey Pikmin. <laughs> like, Whoa. It's cool. like, yeah, I don't know what that one is. Looks like he's getting his back bl <laughs> That being said, I still think they're really cool enemies and I'd like to see them back in game. You guys thoughts? Why do you unuse- Why do you unuse whip tongue bulborbs always have blackface? Like, what's up with that? I don't know. I- I, I feel like the Canadian guy I'd say Whip Tongue is pretty cool, but the Spiky, I think he can go here. This is probably the most controversial tier list. Next up, we have the Garaki. I saw some people call it the Humped Bloister, and I'm like, that's a cool name, so I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> the Humped Bloister. So, have you guys heard, humped like, that, the joke about, like, the immortal snail that, like, is, like, constantly going yeah, towards you? Yep, 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 yep. That's what it, that's what it reminds me of, because all it has is one animation of going forward. So it's literally just the immortal snail, but a Pikmin enemy. <laughs> I think it's very goofy looking. I'm gonna put him. I think I'll put him in the it's pretty cool tier. If I knew this oh, guy I was called the Humps Bloister, I would have been saying that all the time in my video. Um, oh. the oh fucking hell. The the her Hercules so Hercule Hercule Hercules Hercules Eboshi. I only know that because Eboshi is Scudder Chuck. So this thing I think was a boss just based on the fact that it's like moving left and right, and Hey Pikmin has like those like weird background boss enemies. Oh. Uh, like, I just like the idea of like a boss scutter chuck, so I think he's pretty high on my list. I don't know about you guys though. It does seem pretty cool. But Hey Pikmin, like, it called that other thing a crush blat, it calls the other thing a wraith. I don't think they really knew what the words meant. I think they just kind of used them, so... Yeah, that's what happens what when you mean. get the same people that made Ball and Wonder World to make a Pikmin game. <laughs> Yo, fuck, yeah. you're right. This guy's called, it looks like a Fosbat pod, and I'm pretty sure that's what it was supposed to be, kind of. It's called the Hokori, a plant bulb thing that shoots stuff out, very similar to the Fosbat pod. Some people think it was supposed to spawn that weird root thing underneath it, but I think that's just part of it. I don't, I don't really know what it would have spawned, honestly. Torture chamber? Yeah, torture chamber. The crab, the the crab wraith. It's just a name. Like if you look at his um Japanese name, the uh si, si, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but it it's basically like word for word the same as the hermit crawmad from Pikmin 3. So I really think the localizers just weren't paying attention and just called these things wraiths for no reason. Ah, and he just yeah. walks forward, I guess. Yeah, he just walks. Like it's it's more it's definitely supposed to be like a hermit crawmad type of enemy, but they just called it a wraith. But and maybe the crab wraith would have been cool. I'll put him in the bottom of bringing back here. Hey, Pikmin had a new wraith and also brought back the groinks. Maybe it is the real Pikmin four. Hey, Raggins. Um, I think Usaba is a bit too high. Would you mind like like switching him out with uh the Rocky, uh Wallywog? Yeah, I think 
yeah, I think you should go here. The rock, actually, the bean Pikmin is pretty cool. It's a whole Pikmin type, and yeah, this ball has a cool animation. Oh. Yeah, you gotta put him up here. Okay, but this guy's the humped bloister, and like he, he humped the invincible bloister. snail. And I gotta show respect to my prime minister. The thing is, like everything cool about it is just pure speculation. What we have is just a flying dragonfly. So like, I don't know how high we can reel. Um, next up, we have some sort of blowhog. Looks like a balloon blowhog, which I think is really cool. Looks like a mixture of the careening digibug and um the puffy blowhog. It's very stylized, and I like it. Fans call it the oh, I like the that. jamboree blowhog. Jamboree. I'd like to see it. I mean, there's only two puffy blowhog type things, right? So yeah, why not bring them in? The catfish. What's this guy's specialty? Does he just like? It, it looked just to me just like an underwater blowhog type of thing. I don't know if it sucks up. Holy shit! <laughs> What's yeah, he like, doing? Dragons. I think you would love this guy. Oh yeah. Okay, that's all I had to see. That is all I had all right, to cool. see. Guy thinks he's a winged Pikmin. <laughs> Creeping chrysanthemum, but it's a Venus flytrap, and I think this is a really cool idea and a, and a cool take on the creeping chrysanthemum. Much better than what we did, what we saw in Pikmin Four, whatever the fuck they, they gave us there. That's sick. Like I don't know. That that's sick. It looks like it never had a lower body, so it probably wouldn't have come out of the ground. But the idea alone is pretty cool. That's a very Hey Pikmin vibe to it. I hate to say it, like this may be blasphemous, I might get like a pipe bomb sent to me, but I think he's better than the Volatile Dweevil. Um, well there, there's a few factors in it, I mean, the Volatile <laughs> Dweevil is meant to be in Pikmin too, which is just a generally better game, you know. You are right, this is Hey Pikmin, so it has to get knocked down a bit of a peg. Um, next up, we got just a Scornet. That's it, it's just a Scornet. I hate Scornet, burn them. Yeah, burn them. I hate Scornets. They should never come back ever. Right. I'd say meh, because it really fits in with Hey Pikmin's vibe. It's like a small flying enemy. It could go fast. You have to tap quickly to destroy it. I feel like it'd fit in. I'd, I'm going to meet you guys both at a middle ground. I'd say Scornets are the most mid enemy I've ever seen. So I'd put them below Beta Waiting wait, beta waiting Pikmin. Just in, the, in between the two yeah, they're tiers. They're mid, so they'd fit perfectly in Hey Pikmin. Cool, cooler than that purple guy? Like, cooler than Bulbman? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Hey, you, you said you don't like Baldman. Hey, guys, 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 I just want you all to note this. Like, write this down in your books. Raggins put the Scornet above the Baldman. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. We got a crystallized blowhog. I don't know what this was. It could have been a blowhog. could have been a fish. I don't really know what I'm looking at. I don't know what this is, whoa, honestly. Whoa, like, it whoa. has, like, fins. Give me that like, Gok Gok 3000 right there. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Whoa. What the? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, like, takes off its hands and starts, like, wiggling. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> okay, I don't want to get demonetized, but what are our thoughts on this? Bit, I don't think that'd be allowed in a game rated tree plus. <laughs> After seeing that animation, where should we put this? I get why they deleted it, because, you know, they didn't want to risk the game's age rating, but I still think it's cool. They should risk it. Rumors say to attack the captain instead of the Pikmin. Just for that animation, though, I'm going to put it above the crab wraith. Oh. <laughs> okay, these animations are great. Oh, I like his run. Oh, his, his little trot. Oh, it's it's funny. Yeah, probably stay for gone. Like, I imagine the real enemy probably has all those crazy animations too, so he doesn't even get that. Yeah, it's probably just a smaller version of the real enemy. Next up, we have, looks like an attack helicopter. The Togedevig. He just like flies around, I guess. Oh, are these the same enemy? Oh yeah, they're, they're, like, I think there's like two enemies in the same oh, file. They're in the same file. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know if that cactus thing is like... The something that this guy spits out. I never played a Pikmin, so I have no clue what I'm looking at. You know, let's, let's design this enemy right now. I'm assuming this guy flies around and drops these guys. They look like landmines that'll slowly fall down and land on your Pikmin, which I think is pretty cool. It's like the green Digibub, kind of. Just drops drops bombs on your Pikmin. I do like the idea here. I'll put him right there. That's fair. The winged... Um, the winged Makiwi. Looks like a very, very early build. No, no textures. I don't think there's any animation. Yeah, I think it's just this. Nice. Looks like something out of face raiders. <laughs> so considering how unfinished this is, I don't think we can really put it too high, but it was supposed to be a, a Makiwi with wings, which... I say I'll believe it when I see it. Like, they've been known to name things for no reason, so this thing could have been anything. <laughs> say Russian this torture is... chamber. Yeah, yeah let's torture him. Russian torture. Like, honestly, like, maybe even, like, China torture chamber or something. China like torture chamber. <laughs> the whole blocker. The whole blocker. Yes, classic enemy. Oh, <laughs> my favorite. I don't I don't know what this thing did. I'm pretty sure I just skipped over in the video. What could it do? Is it, it looks like it's just a, a piranha plant. But like, why is like, what's the giant square? Like, I'm assuming this was like literally nothing. Like, 
I think that's not even ground. Really. It said hole blocker, so I think it was meant to like fill in spots in the floor and maybe just like pop out. Maybe. I think we should put it in Chappie. Yeah. Last but not least, a pair of fucking eyes. Okay. Is oh, enemy just underscore O2 is literally just eyes? Do they blink at least? Uh, there's wings. There's wings too. What? Like. I'm pretty sure it's components to a bigger enemy, right? I think I think these things were meant for the uh, Sporna, which is an enemy that got used, but for some reason they just have like its eyeballs like hang around in the foils. You know, I would love to see just a pair of floating eyes chase after me and my Pikmin in the game. So I think this yeah. this, this this deserves Chappy tier also. We always see like we don't always see, but we sometimes see like unused stuff from older Pikmin games make it back. Maybe Pikmin 5's like main mechanic is just like floating eyeballs chasing you. <laughs> Yo, you <see> the eye Pikmin. <laughs> so this is our final list. Is there anything we'd want to change? Want to move around? These three are just like they need to be in the next game. No doubt about it. Yeah. If they would have defined yeah. Hey Pikmin if they were in it. I, I can kind of like see ahead in time at the comment section. I think everyone agrees with that top tier. Yeah. It's a pretty uncontroversial list. I'm only here for Pikmin. Any last minute changes? Uh, Volatile Dweeb up to Chappy, I'd say. Just for you, buddy. Just for you. You snuck your way onto this list. <laughs> <laughs> everyone gets one alibi. I got Chappy. You got the Volatile Dweeb of Gunna. What's your, what's your Chappy pick? No one's gonna like it. I think Crystal Wallywog is my Chappy pick. Fair. Well, this is our final list. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I got out of hunt. I'm only here for Pikmin. This was actually a very long recording. This was, I think, two hours on the dot. So God knows I'm gonna have a fun time editing this one, but anything you guys want to say before I end things off? Yeah, go subscribe to anyone but Raggins and then subscribe to me and I'm only here for Pikmin. Uh, this was a fun list. I think everyone can agree. Like, I'm glad that we finally made a list that the whole fan base can agree on. Yeah, there, there definitely isn't gonna be any hate or dislikes or um, aggression in the comments. So I it's such just an uncontroversial say, list, we might as well disable the comments, because, you know, there's no point, everyone will just agree. But, like, I want to engage with Farm. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching, and, um, hope you like the list.